Several area organizations are teaming up to rally outside the state capitol in Springfield. Their goal is to ban assault style weapons at the state level. CBS 2's Jackie Kostek in Highland Park, where one group left from this morning. Bus loads of people from Highland Park, Evanston, and the south side of the city left around 8 a.m. this morning to get to Springfield for a 1215 rally. Now, these people also plan to meet with lawmakers to push them to pass the Protect Illinois Communities Act during this lame duck session. One of the most important ways that we honor those that we've lost is with action. Rachel Jacoby is a youth organizer with March for Our Lives, one of many groups united today under one goal to push lawmakers to say yes to the Protect Illinois Communities Act, which would ban assault-style weapons, high-capacity magazines, and raise the Floyd card age from 18 to 21. Because as mother of two, Liz Manila says, these advocates have had enough. It's a simple message. We've had enough of gun violence. We've had enough thoughts and prayers. Six months ago today, somebody hunted our neighbors with an assault weapon, and it's enough. He purchased it legally. It's ridiculous. Manila says no matter what happens during this lame duck session, she and others will continue to fight for gun control legislation because they believe they do have power, something she was reminded of after emailing an elected official urging him to do something. And he wrote back and said that change doesn't come from lawmakers. It comes to lawmakers, from people like us demanding it, from people like us organizing, getting together, strength in numbers, Organizers tell me they are hopeful that these legislators will listen to their pleas and take action during this lame duck session. It's unclear if or when this bill will see a vote. In Highland Park, Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News.